Hello and welcome to another Advanced Blueprint Tutorials video. I'm doing a first update in 2021 and I'm very happy to show you what I've been working on and uh, I want to say I'm very sorry for uh, not drawing any videos for a long time. I was uh, really uh, catching up with all the commission work I got recently uh, but a lot of the improvements are the fruit of those commission works. Um, just as a quality of life, I've added a standing bullion in the overall um, animation graph. I fixed the injured overlay and made a new corrected node called IK Correction. I will show you how it works. I've added a new normalized lean, which is used for turning in place and uh, for hand sways. I've added a new uh, subgraph which is called the hand sway node and uh, it is an ease of life um, node that helps you improve first person perspective uh, animations. There are also new methods of blending uh, poses for first person perspective and third person perspective. I also made sure that every example map works Okay, to start with the core um, anime blueprint, let's go into our event graph and we got a few new things. First of all, just as an ease of life, uh, now we have not crouching, which is called standing and on our animation graph, wherever we have uh, a base pose, we can now, uh, instead of doing this not crouching, we can just take standing and connect it directly it's just an ease of life thing so uh, it's a bit faster to do all those new poses okay let's go into our injured pose which was not working correctly we can go into it and there is a new pose right here uh, a new linked anime graph and i will show you how it works now so if we hit play and i press one he goes to that pose it is working correctly with a MOV set and it is working correctly we got this uh, AGR IK solver and this uh, IK solver is doing some heavy lifting uh, for correction of uh, hands to the IK bones and correction of the left hand when we are doing any swaying or anything like that it's also doing the leg IK node uh, which is a correction after our aim offset uh, node. Okay, so inside the event graph you have inside leaning a new variable which is called the normalized lean. And normalized lean is leaning that is frame rate independent. So I am using this here. There used to be a lot of IK stuff in here, but now it's just uh, three values and an IK scale uh, delta basically, which is an IK scale here. So I'm taking the aim up delta in vertical and it is not normalized. I'm taking the straight velocity divided by 50, which is uh, automatically the, uh, frame rate independent. And now I have lean normalized, which is also frame independent as horizontal. So when now I play and I go into first person mode, I can sway up and down and the weapon sways. I can sway left and right and weapon sways. If I strafe the weapon sways. And you can see that this swaying is in the same speed basically. So it's uh, it's almost the same. But if I go into slow-mo, this is actually simulating a, a lot higher frame rate, which is uh, just uh, showed slower. So if I go up and down, you can barely see any swaying in the weapon up and down right now but if i go left and right it's still the same speed as it was when i wasn't using slow-mo so if i go slow-mo 2 now up and down is faster but left and right is still the same so this is the normalized lean it doesn't matter what's your game speed it doesn't matter what's your frame rate it will always be uh, the same speed. And why it is important? Well, because of the turn in place animations, if you have them implemented, you can use this normalized lean as your turn in place um, play rate uh, speed. And I will show you how to set up that um, in a second. Okay. 
uh, and let's go to our main graph right now uh, so it's going to anim graph and a lot has changed here so the base pose is same overlay pose is same but now we are changing things we have one uh, slot blend for first person and one slot blend for not first person so for the first person the true one uh, we go here and we are doing just spine 0 1 and blend depth is 3 and it is uh, mesh space rotation However, if we go here into our third person view, we are doing spine 0, 1, but the blend depth is 7. So it's the, uh, the, the blend is perfect at the 7 bone zones, spine 1, 2, 3, then uh, you got the clavicle, then you have upper hand, lower hand, and hand. So this is the 7 chain, which means that the hands will fit this upper body uh, slot as they should. Uh, however, the posture of the entire body will be taken from the uh, base. Mm, well, actually from the uh, overlay saved pose. So whatever we, uh, you know, spit out as the overlay pose, uh, it will be driving the pose of the third person um, slot loaded animations and it will be more absolute if you are in first person. I also made two separate power IK ground node uh, setup. One is for first person and it is uh, already tested in first person and works perfectly. And the second one is for third person view is the one we've been doing uh, in our previous tutorial. So those are the changes. Uh, everything works now a lot better and it's a lot better for first person uh, perspective games. And I'm actually going to make an example uh, real soon with this month's uh, free assets over the marketplace so look forward to that video thank you for listening and see you guys soon